Hey everyone, it's Be Divine again here and I'm going to continue with my frequently asked questions about angels and archangels and so many of you have written in your little questions so I've got quite a list in front of me but please keep writing if you've got any questions about um, them that you would like answered. This is going to be a good log for you, you know, you can look back on here and see if I've answered the questions and um, I will also put them all at my website as well which I'll leave the, the links below so you can see back on different videos that we've done. Um, okay, so there were many many questions, a lot of them were kind of similar to the ones that I've already answered um, or ones that I've already got here and one of them is um, do the angels have any other special abilities besides comfort and encouragement? And yes, of course, they have uh, many, 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 many abilities. Um, and it is important to let you know, though, that even though um, an angel has all these abilities to help things happen in your life and give comfort and encouragement, an angel cannot do anything really without your permission first. So what we see is in the realms of the, you know, in the angelic realm, I guess you could say, uh, there are millions and billions and trillions of angels and archangels and all that sort of thing. And uh, a lot of them aren't really doing anything, um, especially if you're not asking for it. So in other words, um, you have your guardian angels and there is said to be thousands and thousands of angels. In fact, some people say there are a legion of angels for every single human um, that is on earth and that would mean around about 6,000 or so angels that are directly guardians for you. Now, you can call and ask for any other help that you feel that you need from other particular angels, but the idea is that you know, sometimes a guardian angel is, is you know, trying to um, give you inspiration and advice and help you out of your situation. But unless you ask and put your intention forward to the angels, they can't help you either. Now, we know about Archangel Michael being a protector. Now, if you asked Archangel Michael about a career direction, he can also help you with that. It, he's not limited to just being this protector to you or just clearing negative energy away from you. He is whatever you are asking for, you know, so for every situation in your life, there is some particular angel that specializes it in that area. But they also bring the energy of many, many thousands more angels who are also experts in that field. So it's like when you um, decide that you want to be a writer or, or an author, you could ask for the angels that help with writing to come forward. And, you know, there'll be ones that are good with poems, there are ones that are good with, um, you know, writing long novels, there are ones that are great with um, channeling and helping you to channel uh, information, just all the different aspects to writing that you can imagine, and then some. So, of course, the angels don't just bring comfort and encouragement to your life, but they can be sectioned off. And you know, you can once you really start to get to understand the energies of the angels, you can really start to feel who's working where and what they're doing. Now, we all think of Raphael as uh, you know the healing angel, the one that comes in um, and and always is resident in hospitals and things like that. And then you have a female counterpart of the angel. So, you know, we think of Archangel Raphael, but um, I've already met uh, Archangel Raphaela. You know, like a female aspect of um, Archangel Raphael, and she helped with um, women's issues and connection. You know, connections in your brain and um, cellular levels of, of healing throughout your body. So anything that you can think of um, that you might need assistance with in your life, when you are um, looking for an answer to that problem or something that you need assistance with, you have to accept the help that is available and trust that the angels will bring with them the other angels or the specialist angels I guess you could say um, that you need or the correct energy so as I said to you before angels and archangels and you know we think of the archangel um, the angel angelic hierarchy and that is really for our own benefit 
because the angels don't see themselves as greater or up above or below each other. They see each other as a brotherhood, you know, like as family. Um, so they don't, they, although they acknowledge, you know, the energy of, say, for example, Archangel Michael, they acknowledge, you know, his energy for what he does, but they don't think that he's any greater than they are, see? And that's where we've put labels on things. But just to make it easier, because um, you know everyone's used to those words, angels and archangels and all that sort of thing, um, I use that. But really, what you are doing is you are bringing in the energy of, um, say for example, spirituality. You are bringing in the energy of miracles in your life. You're bringing in the energy of healing and health and all those sorts of things. And that, that allows the angels to help you in more than just encouraging you and um, you know giving you comfort when you need it so they are going to help you in every single area of your life but it's very important that you're not expecting them to do this for you so for example um, you know you say to the angel well I want you to do this for me well the angel cannot do that until you have told the angel what you are then going to do yourself so, you know, I could say, angels, I want you to make me famous. And then they'll just be like, well, how is that going to happen? You know, what, what are you bringing forward so that our energies can mix together? And so I'll say to them, I'm going to do this, this and this and this. And um, I, I'm, I'm assisting, I want your assistance in this. So the energies come together and bang, you know, the doors begin to open. So that is what, you know, the angels... Um, do have many many different special abilities they're trying to ask you to see that you also have these abilities within yourself to do anything that you want to do and you know you are creating miracles in your life for yourself you are creating health for yourself you are using your mind um, over the matter you know you are um, training yourself to think differently and this is all with the angels assistance and you know there is just nothing that they cannot uh, help you to achieve personally um, so it's not just all about comfort and encouragement but it's anything um, throughout your life that you need assistance with they know you you are part of their family you are part of their you know um, angelic realm you are a part of that whole thing yourself and um, many angels walk along and, and have a um, human life uh, you know they are, not many angels do that you know but we are seeing more of them coming through now uh, especially because it's supposed to be such doom and gloom times of the year and all that sort of thing so um, we are seeing more and more people recognizing the angelic human in other people and some you know i also feel that that is myself that I am, you know, an angel in a human body and it took me a long time to actually accept that um, because, you know, you think, oh, no, you're not. Who do you think you are? You've done all these bad things and everything. But I, I know it, I feel it, and um, there are many people that I've met along my journey where I've gone, my gosh, there's another one. And, you know, you can normally tell um, by their life experience, their face, their eyes. It's not, it doesn't mean that you're beautiful or anything like that necessarily. Um, but you can just see it if you are tuning into that or you want to see that. You will just see this light emanating from someone and you know that um, you, you, know, you are meant to be there. I feel everybody is in some sort of category. Um, you know, so we are souls with many, many dimensions and we are here um, you know, to be a portal of light on the earth. Many of us are walking around as like ascended masters, very, very learned souls um, who have gone through many, many trials and tribulations. Um, there are those who are more connected to the elemental kingdom. And, you know, you might look at someone and think, gosh, they look like, um, you know, a bird or an eagle or something, you know, having this energy within them. Um, you know, that sort of thing. So everybody has to find where they sort of fit um, in, in all this, this realm of energy. So I hope that helped answer your question. Um, remember if you guys have got more questions just leave comments in in this particular video like where the angels videos are so I can see them um, it's better if you just leave comments and I can just easily roll through um, and make my list as we go along so we're going to have a very very um, busy time next year getting through um, trying to help you guys 
to really, really grasp the, the wonder of what you really are. And I feel that's part of my, my mission on the earth, is to really help you feel at ease with who you are. So, there you go. Um, there are many, many different energies, um, and we call them angels, and we are, can ask them for specific help in any specific area of our life. We don't, shouldn't limit ourselves to what we can ask them, so we can ask them whatever we want, but we have to also have an intention in our mind of what we are then going to do, um, you know, to move forward in our life and make things happen. Um, so they're, they're actually like um, assistants to us, you know, they are sisters, they um, open the doors, they um, calm the energy, and they help you to move forward and feel strong about yourself. So. I hope that helps and until the next video is goodbye from me. Bye everyone.